okay, um, you can go. So my name is Ellen, as you mentioned, and I've got a company in Galway called CrowdScanner, and we're kind of fascinated by how people interact in spaces, and we're trying to build technology for the iPad and the iPhone that changes the way people interact at an event, even like this one. Because what frustrates me more than anything is when people build stuff like trains like this one that makes us even more antisocial than we're likely to be. Because for me, having conversations with new people, exchanging content on stuff that we're interested in, is like a fascinating experience and it gets me up in the morning. But the problem with an event like this one is that I can't read your minds. So for all the people in here that I have stuff in common with, I don't know who I should talk to. You know, which one of you would have the most interesting conversation with me. And this problem seems to kind of follow me around a bit. So when I was at a hen party recently, there was 23 girls, and only the hen herself knew all 23 of us. And the rest of us, even though we had her in common, we kind of stayed within our little groups, and we didn't mix that well throughout the night, even though there was lots of alcohol involved. I thought, you know, maybe I can build an application that would, would mix us up a bit. So I came up with this little idea called Like My Dress. And I thought, you know, you could take a photo of all of the girls and attach their names. And then you could pass around the iPad and you would vote on who had the prettiest dress at this particular hen party. And... Um, so then I thought, you know, you could scale it up, you know, using social media, yay. You could get, like, all your friends to vote as well. So post it on Facebook, get all your friends to vote who's got the prettiest dress at this particular hen party. And... Um, get everyone involved. And then I thought, you know, I don't need to stop here at this Facebook thing. You know, I could create like a global competition. So I take all the local winners and I put them through to a regional competition and then I create a national competition and then like I have a global winner of the prettiest dress at a hen party that ever existed kind of pageant style competition. And then I thought, like, I'm a girl, and um, it's pretty shit sometimes, the competition that goes on between us and how we can feel jealous about each other and, you know, we don't want to wear the same dress to the same party and stuff. And I don't want to be building an application that makes that even more pronounced. So, and another thing that I figured out was that, you know, when you join all these kind of small ponds together and you create, like, this massive pond, there's only one winner. And everybody else like is kind of feeling like a bit of a loser in this scenario. And this is kind of what's happening online, except in a more intellectual level sometimes. Like Sabrina Dent, who I admire as a designer, um, she claimed that she was depressed when she went on to dribble.com, the design website. And I'm thinking, if she feels depressed and I admire her, then how the hell am I supposed to be feeling about it? Like, what's the name of the emotion? And it's kind of conflicting, because although I'm feeling depressed, because I'm not as good as this designer, I have my mirror neurons that are telling me, how awesome it would be if I could be as good as this guy. If I could have people wanting to slit their wrists because they want to copy what I've built. And I'm thinking, maybe I don't have the looks to win the hen party thing. Maybe I don't have the luck even to win the lottery, but talent. It's kind of like there's this idea that potentially I could, you know, maybe be as good as this guy at designing. And so, like, I always, like, end up on these Inspector Clouseau hunts, you know? After I've seen an amazing designer, I'm, like, trying to figure out how did he manage to do it, you know? What were his influences? Who were his mentors? How long did he study for? You know, does he blog a lot? Um, what were, you know, the amazing things that happened in his particular life that ended up for him to be the way that he is designing such amazing stuff? And I realized I was trying to figure out how I can be like him. Like, how I can have people want to slit their wrists for stuff I've made, Instead of trying to figure out maybe how to be like me, like design stuff that has an Ellen-shaped stamp on it that is unique to my experiences, my interpretation of the world, my education, stuff that means something to me. And so I figured out along the way that like it's bullshit. I'm not going to build stuff that makes girls feel more competitive than they already do. I don't want to contribute to um, applications that make you feel like shit. I want to build stuff that makes you feel creative and that you're participating in your life. And so I like kind of pushed my brain to the limits and I came up with an application called Guess My Body Part. You know, this is all you know. Um, IP uh, pending. So uh, you guess, you mash all the photographs together, and then you um, put their, You have to guess which body part belongs to which girl, and you can still pass around the iPad. Or a second idea that I thought of, you could have like a bridge predict me application, which is kind of like the newlyweds game, where you uh, make predictions about all of the girls based on what they look like, and then you see how right you are throughout the evening, and you pass around the iPad again and, and, and have fun conversations with each other. And I thought that, okay, this is never gonna make me rich, um, people seem to really like depressing themselves online and being competitive. And, um, you know, there's always going to be the law of unintended consequences, so I can't, I can't plan for everything. But what I do know is that I want my users to feel fucking 
awesome. And not the type of awesome that you feel by imagining how amazing it would be to be an amazing designer, but the kind of awesome that you feel by knowing that you're participating in your life, that you're creating amazing conversations and amazing moments, and you are doing something that is unique to you. So thank you.